it's absolutely lovely to be here and it's lovely to see you. Um, welcome to Polly Put the Petal On. My name is Claire and um, I've been a, been a, been missing in action. <laughs> I've not been very well. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I've not been on, as you know. Um, I'm still not right, but I'm coming on and... Um, I want to do this. I've got this lovely, so this is what it's about today. I've got this lovely handbag to unbox and I've got this uh, B&M haul um, that I'm going to be bringing you. I've got some great bits from B&M and this handbag is absolutely gorgeous. I've had this handbag about three weeks, but of course, I, you know, I've got a lot going on. I've got my bathroom being done. Um, we're on the second week now, you know, I've still got no sink. <laughs> <laughs> I'll update you on that as we go along because some people are, are here just for the haul and um, you know so let's crack on I, I think I'm going to show you this bag and what I've done already is because I'm going to give you my review uh, you know there is some points that Teddy Blake want me to make on this handbag but if I'm not me you will know <laughs> you know for those of you that that have been with me for ages you'll know that I'm not being me if I you know try and sell you something i just want to give you this honest review of this teddy blake bag because you know i don't even like handbags so you know i've got to be honest um i don't wear handbags as a rule as you know and has this teddy blake you know changed my opinion well i think for the style that i chose i think it has i really like the style i'm going to show you you know i've seen a lot of teddy blake handbags over the internet uh, the past week or two or three you know and in the past years uh, and stuff but you know I feel like I've chosen <laughs> I feel like I've chosen something that suits me obviously it had to you know um I don't I don't like big bags or anything like that so let's let's just crack on there are some points that Teddy Blake want me to make about the bags um you know about the leather about the materials that they use the designers that they use and stuff and I will I will tell you about that as we go along whoopsie never fail do I sorry it really is lovely to see you guys it really is I feel as if I've been away forever um but I have been rough I really have even with this lovely weather, you know, and the, uh, it's been a, it's been a up and down. You like that all the time? I can't, couldn't keep up with it. You know, you know I couldn't keep up with the fibromyalgia. It, it, you know, it, it was a bit like the weather. Kept changing its mind. What was it going to be? Was it going to be fatigue or was it going to be pain? It was just a pain. Anyway, so the Teddy Blake bag, as you will probably have seen across across YouTube, comes in a lovely white box magnetic closing you know to to keep your bag nice and safe and secure um teddy blake new york designer handbags made in italy luxury leather um each teddy blake handbag has been made for you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your ev your every fashion choice sounds great doesn't it well i chose absolutely i really i really did you know, I don't like bags. So I have seen this because I have just been wearing it for you over there uh, with a couple of different outfits that I'm going to pop in as well. And so I'm going to get on with what I've got to get on with because we've got a lot to do. <laughs> I'm on one, guys. I'm on one. So it comes in this lovely um, dust bag. Um, I wish all my other bags had dust bags because all they do is uh, gather dust collect dust look at this look at this this is a kim stampato i think it's stampato uh leather and i think i do believe stampato leather means textured um pebble like that's what stampato means um so it's this is called kim and quite up so because my best friend is called kim isn't she um and it's a nine inch i didn't want a big bag i don't want to you know i don't I just do not want a big bag. So, and you know how I've been getting used to those little bags that I, that I showed you recently. So I thought this, but I actually love the design. I thought this is ideal for me. It really is, you know. Um, and besides, I didn't want one of those bags, you know, 
half the time when you're rummaging through your bag to try and find something you, you do curse the bag don't you you're like this bloody bag can't find anything in it well <laughs> i'll find lots in this it's really quite roomy inside it's got i love this opening to it you know it's gorgeous it really is it's a beautiful size it's got i'm just taking the packaging out guys uh there is a little label that came on the handle but i took that off because i was doing a little try on for you and it's you know it's just a little so i'll show you the inside which incidentally is suede inside it smells gorgeous so, you know, I'm going to get my phone in there. I'm going to get a purse in there should I need to. Uh, it's got a little pocket, just a little, it's not a zip pocket, just a little slide pocket. I, I, I suspect I'll get my phone in there because mine isn't one of the biggest iPhones. <sighs> Hang on. Breathless. Um, And yeah, it is. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I am over the moon with it. So I need to raise some points with you. The designers that have designed these bags are from high-end brands, you know, high-end designer brands, so I believe. Um, and they're made in Italy. I, I want to get it right, you know. They're made in Italy. Um, if you sign up to the, you know, if you're in, because I do know they come with a price tag. They, of course they do. They're a designer handbag, but they're not, they've not got a massive designer handbag price. It, you know, it's still costly for me and um, it would definitely be costly for everyone. However, it's definitely an investment piece. And also, you know, you've got Christmas around the corner. It, you, you know, it's always someone's birthday. Um, there's always those wish lists that we have, girls, because I'll be honest, this is something that I would save for. And on the site, which I'm hopefully flashing up for you now, on the site, there was, I, I knew I wanted this, this handbag. I knew this was the one for me. I knew that the nine inch was the size for me. But boy, they had this stunning, because they've got all, all different colours of handbags, you know, on there and there was a beautiful apple green and I really wanted it <laughs> I really wanted it I'm gonna I'm gonna see how I get on with this and I'll tell I'll tell you something you know if I want to save up um any of my birthday monies or Christmas monies um or even putting it on a wish list a Christmas wish list you know uh, Mother's Day you know I can see me with because I can't get it out of my mind guys <laughs> I'm kicking myself but then I'd have been limited to 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 how I wore it, you know, and I didn't want to. I wanted this to be able to be one of those bags that I can, I can, oh, I'll just get my bag, you know, and not wanting to swap it out for anything, for any other bag. <clears throat> Whereas if it was the apple green, you know, I'd be limited. But God, it, it really is such a beautiful bag and I can't get it out of my mind. So it's not, <laughs> it's not, it's refu refusing to budge. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah. I might just have to at some point, but we'll see. We'll see because there's other things, you know, there's other things, but I, I wouldn't hesitate in signing up to there um, and because there's no harm in looking, is there, guys? Um, so I'm going to slip in a couple of, a couple of, a uh, couple of try-ons now um, of how I'd style them. I just thought I'd show you a few different outfits <coughs> and... A few different ways that you can wear this bag or that I would wear this bag. This, I don't think, because I like a crossbody bag, as you know, you'll have seen a couple of previous little bags that I've <clears throat> recently shown you. I think this is a little bit on the short side for me. I don't want it sitting underneath, you know, and in my, in my rib cage because the handle is coming right underneath my bosom. So that is a little bit even even there then you're not you can't get your arm down so to me you know a crossbody that's not an option but on the shoulder you know i haven't worn a handbag on the shoulder for a long time but i do like to wear an on the shoulder handbag <coughs> you know
you know, um, especially if it's like a, a formal outfit, you know, I think it looks really, really nice on on the shoulder and to the side. It looks really nice, guys, doesn't it? I, 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 you know, I do really like this bag and it's so, it's so small. Um, it's just the right size for me. So now I will try a little dress with it. Um, guys, it's one of my favourite dresses. Oh, I thought it stood on the dog then. It's one of my favourite dresses that I've been wearing this summer. Excuse that glare in the in the light. It's the it's the wind. It's the yeah, it is. It's the window, the bay window. Um, I've taken the strap off for this one. Um, because I fancy just holding it, just so. Um, it's lovely and lightweight. This bag, guys. I've just got some little boots on, some little sock boots with the dress and my little bag. Let me put that handle down and I want to wear it, you know, I just want to wear it in my hand. I just think that's really nice that, you know, even if I was wearing a little flat, which is, I'm going to show you another, just one more last outfit. This yeah. outfit is just super, super casual. So I've got some I uh, don't know if you can see, I've got some little sliders on, those little dressy sliders from Primark. I think the dress is also from Primark some years ago. I love this bodycon dress. Um, they're so comfy and easy to wear. But I'm going to put the strap back on for this, guys. You have to excuse me, I'm very breathless today. It's the heat. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to attach the strap again. I think I've got it on the wrong way round, but it doesn't matter for the purposes of this. Whew. It's a hot one, guys. Right, so I've put the, because I'm gonna try it again across the body. I mean, I wonder whether I could actually, yeah, I could. I could actually make this longer, I've just decided. I don't perhaps need all three studs to be in so what if i go yeah i'll try this i'll try the the last two and all you do to to adjust your strap is pop your studs in and that's that so let me see that's somewhat longer and it looks and it feels even better down by my side Let's try it. I can move it one more time and that's better. It's, it's not under my, my bust. So if I'd have thought of that sooner, you know, we'd have been better for it, wouldn't we? So just, so that's the, just a super, super casual outfit, you know, a cross body. And that is how I would wear it with this outfit, you know. Um, I like it in my hand with the little ditzy dress. Um, I like it on my shoulder with the with the blouse and the uh, boots. But I really like this across body. But I do think I might just adjust it one more time and go just that tad bit lower. I think I'm used to those little bags I've been using. But I do love this. So it's great. So I'll see you back at the table. I changed and I thought to myself, actually, even with this white dress, it would go really nice. I think this white dress is a little bit, even though I've got nude underwear on. Um, so yeah, you know, again, those little sliders and the bag. But again, I think for this style, I'd have it down by my side, possibly. Let's try it over the, on the shoulder. No, I don't like it on the shoulder with this dress. Let's see there. That's not too bad if it was a little bit lower, which I can lower it. So yeah, I really do. So it's quite a versatile bag, isn't it? I'm really happy. Right. So I have got um, a dis. If anybody is interested or in the in the if you're in a mar in the market for um, a a new uh, Teddy Blake designer handbag. Um, I have got a code for you, which is TB Claire 30, um, which I'm going to flash up on screen and I'm also going to add it down below in the description box. Um, and that's for $30 off, you know, any any uh, product that's on the Teddy Blake 
um, site, but it is a beautiful site. It, it, you know, if you love your handbags, you know, it's, par it's quite, it's quite, it's paradise, it really is. Um, so, yeah, so let's just see, because I want to have been able to have said, yeah, they're made by experienced craftsmen working in the same Italian factories as other luxurious brands. So, you know, that's good to know, isn't it? Um, high quality construction and attention to detail. And the detail is absolutely gorgeous. You've got your lovely feet on the bottom. I don't think I've ever had a bag with feet on. I don't think I have, honestly, I haven't. So yeah, it's got your feet on it. Um, the hardware is absolutely gorgeous. I do love this, this opening to the handbag. I think it's gorgeous and it keeps everything nice and secure. Uh, the detail, the, the attention to detail is, is lovely. Uh, nothing's not been thought of. So I'm super, I am super happy with it, guys. I really am. And I feel honoured that Teddy Blake did ask me to, you know, if I would like to, because this has been gifted to me and this is in collaboration with Teddy Blake. So I do feel honoured. I hope you've enjoyed that section. And yeah. I'm going to, I am going to wear this with pride. It's, it, it's absolutely beautiful. Nice soft sides. You know, they're nice and soft. Whereas this is, it's not solid, but it's nice and sturdy. Do you know what I mean? So you've got a bit of play with what you're putting in your bag. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to put that there. Oh, oh I've done it again. Sorry, guys. I'm going to put that there. And um, yeah, I hope... I hope I've done that little bag some justice because honestly, I wanted to be me telling you and, and not thingy. And so I read the points that um, were needed to be made. And, you know, I've just said my honest opinion and, and it really is my honest opinion. I, that I, I can't get over it. It's a beautiful bag. Thank you very much, Teddy Blake. So let's move on to B&M. Oh, God, this fibro is doing my head in. I've got the thing at the swimmer's ear now. That's affecting my eyes. So let's start off. I've got a bit of bubble wrap. I don't know where that's come from. Okay. So first of all, these tops. I got these for my son because all his stuff for university is down there, and it's doing my head in. It's down the other side of the. T this table is a write off. Um, I need to get it tidied up, but I have not been in, in any state and I've you know I'm having to clean the stairs and stuff every day because of the workmen the workmen aren't in today um which is good because I'm able to come to you here but I'm feeling rough I must admit right uh I picked up so no oh, sorry these tubs guys you'll have to excuse me I'm really sorry these tubs I got for my son. Now I only picked one up, but when I got it to the till, because it was nine pounds, and when I got it to the till, the lady said, "Oh, they're, they're only five pounds these." So I said, "Well, I might as well take two. So I'm going to put my be able to put my son's university stuff in, um, and and get it, and and it's going to go nice and neatly in the in the car as well, you know, for transporting when we take him to to um, to his new place. Um, yeah, I picked up these photo frames, 8x10, um, 3 99 for a set of two. Nice gold frame, nothing fancy. Um, it's just that I have um, a photograph of my, my kiddies when they were little over there. And the frame, it, honestly, if I go by it, it literally collapses and falls over. And it's driving me batty. So I needed two new frames and I thought they were quite nice because I've got gold in here, as you know. Um, oh, I put my... Uh, that is normally over there but um this was my spring design if you remember i normally have it over there but i have so enjoyed this this you know this spring and um summer i mean it is spring but i've kept it out all summer because i absolutely love it i know i made it <laughs> and i'm blowing my own trumpet but if i don't blow it nobody else will so yeah I absolutely love that. So I moved it from over there because I'm getting tired of this. Uh, this is going to get replaced. Uh, not not the flowers, the actual um, shelving. 
you know, it's going to get replaced, but Rome wasn't built in a day and I have to save for everything I want and get. So there we go. Um, so yeah, I am going to be getting rid of that and putting a piece of furniture in that matches the wooden furniture that I got recently. If you remember, if you were here then. Um, so yeah, so I've got this, uh, long winded again, wasn't I? Um, I got some hairspray because I wanted it for, oh, hang on a minute, low battery. Yeah, I wanted the hairspray for these <laughs> and it worked. So yeah, I that's what I bought that for. I've picked up some skinny whips. I've already had one of these. So it is chocolate. They're nice. They're new. Uh, latte and chocolate. They they really are quite nice. I forgot I had these. Because I've had this for a couple of weeks. You know, uh, this being m Hall. Um, and I got these Bonoffi, Bonoffi bars. So yeah, I got those. I also got some Yorkshire tea because I love Yorkshire tea. That's decaf. Um, and I got my daughter some individual jam portions because uh, she can take them on the plane with her and, um, you know, get herself some jam and toast or she can put it in her um, porridge. She takes a, she takes those little pots of porridge. So, yeah, got her a pack of those. There are 16 portions in a pack there and they are... Jam, 125 for 16 portions. That's not bad at all, is it? I'll keep my glasses on. They're actually filthy. <laughs> they are. They need cleaner. I should have cleaned them before I come to the table. I got myself a 1001 carpet fresh. I think that's about 179. 189. I've got some Ritz crackers for my daughter because she absolutely loves them. They were a pound. Now, we picked up these. Kim Kim was with me and I was after some mixed herbs. And because uh, Kim had brought me some that day because I was making a spaghetti bolognese. And um, anyway, there was two uh, different brands of mixed herbs. This one was the cheapest. I think this was something like 89, 79, 89 pence. <laughs> 89, 79, 89 pence. Yeah. Yeah, it was 89 pence and I think the other one was 99 or a pa just over a pound or something and there was more in this so I thought, oh no, I'll have that one. I'm funny with mixed herbs, I am. I love Aldi's mixed herbs because he's more oregano than basil. I'm not a keen basil eater at all. Mm, funny with herbs. Um, I love my spices though. Uh, I picked up some garlic granules because I use these quite a lot. Uh, my son's going to university, as you know, so I picked him up some um, cooking utensils. Um, and they were, there's five in the set and uh, they, they were just two pounds. So that's fabulous, isn't it? It's just to get him on his way. Uh, and he's not having to think of these things, but they, they are things that he will come across that he needs. And I picked him up a can opener, uh, 289 no, it's not 289. I've got no glasses on. It's 250. 250. Just a grey one because he is going for the grey theme. So yeah, it's it's a nice one as well. Not bad, is it? 250 for it's quite a hefty one. I should have picked one up for myself. So yeah, it's just a can opener in grey, 250. I picked up some um release the crease. It doesn't work this. I don't know why I fell for it. Um, and I know it doesn't because we sprayed my daughter's uniform and the creases were still there. So, yeah, uh, but it smells nice. And this is the Fabulosa one. It removes creases in fabrics with a burst of Fabulosa. Now, if I read the instructions, it might actually remove the crease. No need to iron, it says. Well, I beg to differ. <laughs> I'll probably get bashed by somebody now who says it does work, but... It, I, it didn't for me in my daughter's uniform. It does smell smell nice though. Um I can't I can't see the price of that. 
probably going to be 199 or there you go 149 it was so that's not bad is it well for the scent it's not bad and i picked up my pro enamel pro enamel um sensodyne toothpaste i love this stuff me it's it's absolutely fabulous and i've told you that loads of times before and i picked up some peckish um nuts and seeds is it nuts and seeds yeah seed and nut mix for the um birds because what am i having said that i mean i don't know what happens in the summer our oh, pigeon's not been here for ages i think he's passed away you know he he was you know he was a, he was a solo pigeon and he had um he had a limp and one day because he liked coming in the house as you know and one day he came in the back now i didn't know he was there and as i opened the kitchen door he fluttered um out i must have made him jump he made me jump you know he was in the back helping himself to some nuts but i didn't know that he was there you know um and when he came back he his leg was even worse so i thought oh he's hurt his leg when he when he was trying to scramble out of the the um back passage so you know we were feeding him nuts and we were putting them on the bench rather than you know making him go on the bird table and you know so he would sit on the fence and then he'd jump down to the bench but we haven't seen him since since june you know when we went away he's not been back and uh, it's very sad because I, I, I would love to know what happened to him because we loved him, we really did. And we'd been looking after him for two years. So yeah, he's gone. So anyway, so I've got the birds, but the birds haven't been coming as much, I, I've found. Has anybody else noticed that? I mean, I know they're all busy enjoying the best lives in summer, you know. But um, yeah, they've not, they've not been coming as much. Even the annoying big black birds that I get, they've not been coming either. So I don't know what's going on. But anyway, so I got some of that <laughs> to feed the birds. Um, I think it's about $1.99. Because they're quite good at B&Ms for bird seed, don't you think? I do. I can't see it. I don't even know what it is. Peckish. Yeah, one ninety nine for a kilo. Not bad at all. And it's no mess. And it's got 12 seed. 12 seed blend in it um and then i picked up my son another thing for my son um was the frying pan now i didn't get the same size frying pan as that we have at home but this frying pan i can't sing this pan's praises pan's praises enough it's got a five-year guarantee it's by russell hobbs and it was 9.99 the one that i have got was 12.99 but it's exactly the same just smaller this was 28 centimeters I'm not really sure what mine is but it's a nice deep pan it's a nice deep pan that and you can get quite a lot in it he'll be able to make himself a curry in here a, a spag ball in here he'll be able to make himself um his his cheese and ham toasties you know because that's what my my kids do they they make their toasty you know they make it up and then they put it in, in a pan and go each side with it and toast it that way. So he'll be able to make his toasties, he'll be able to make his eggs in it, he'll be able to make his omelettes, everything that he possibly can, he'll be able to do in this one pan. It's a fabulous pan and the non-stick on it is amazing. So again, if any of you need a, and I, you know, I bought this with my own money from B&M's, if anybody need a, needs a frying pan, do do check out these because they're absolutely brilliant mine is fabulous it really is and i do, i cook with it um quite a lot when i'm cooking on the hob if i'm not cooking in the air fryer <laughs> so yeah so that was that so 9.99 28 centimeters it's quite a, a good size pan there's my hand it's quite a good size pan um and then like i say they do the bigger one that i've got um, for the family and that was 12.99 so they're not really bad prices are they at all um then oh this is from the charity shop i don't know why it's in that i got, I, I was able to buy five of those for one pound 20 pence each little hand sanitizers great for popping in your little bag you know um yeah fabulous they are 
and then I had to get some bits and pieces. Now, I, had, I, I my bathroom was in my mind, but you know, I'm going to end up with loads of stuff because there's loads of stuff on top of my wardrobe to put into my new bathroom. Um, and but it doesn't matter because this living room is pretty much similar to how the bathroom is anyway. You know, you know, I've got wood in here. There'll be wood in my bathroom. I love all natural elements, guys, and and lots of you who have been with me for quite some time. I'm just adjusting my bum on the seat who have been with me for quite some time, you know, I love natural elements, you know, I just love natural stuff. Um, so, yeah, so what I'm saying is, if these bits, if I've overdone it, you know, with the bits and pieces for my um, bathroom, then these bits can go in here, no problem at all. So I picked up this. Now I'm gonna look up my, because I know that some of these are in the sale. So I've got this, and these glasses are dirty, aren't they? I think this might have been £3, Natural Sanctuary, and it's just little pieces of bamboo. <laughs> bamboo. Um, it is bamboo, isn't it? No, it says rattan. Well, what is rattan? I'm not sure. But anyway, and it's got this, you can't, you can't take that out or can you that it's got a little glass it's a tea light holder anyway um and i think that was three pounds you know let's let's yeah it was definitely three pounds so but i think it's lovely and you can put a little a little candle in there you know and um it's going to be lovely my bathroom i can't wait I say, having said that, you know, guys, the the tiler came yesterday and um, he tiled one wall, the main wall, the length of the, the bath. And then he said, um, have you got a minute? So I said, yeah, he said, oh, these walls are out. I said, oh, right. So he said, um, so I've, I've spoke to the site manager and he's going to have to, I thought, well, it's, a, it's an old house, you know. He said, I've spoke to the site manager. He said, nah, I, you know, I'm going to get him to get the plaster out. Well, I don't know what the conversation between the site manager and the and the tiler was. But uh, the site manager came back out and he said, you know, all he's got to do is, is build up the, the thingy. He said, they're not ideal. You know, we're not in a new build. They're not ideal uh, walls, you know. And all he's got to do is build out the, I don't know, the bonding that the tile goes on in order for, he said, but it seems like it was too much hard work for him. So I said, what do you mean? He said, well, he sent me a text. He said, and he just said to me, you know, this is, this work isn't for me. <laughs> so he left. He left on, with my work unfinished and consequently there was no tiler to come in and replace him. So I think the tiler's coming, a new different tiler is coming in tomorrow. Um, and then I can have my sink, once the tiles are finished, I can have my sink put on then. Because it's weird not having a sink in your bathroom, you know, you, and you forget, you know, if you've been putting your, your cream on in, in, in the morning and, and you've got oily hands and stuff. And yes, I do put residue on the back of my hands, but, you know, I've still, I don't like it all over my, so I um, want to go and wash my hands and I keep forgetting that we haven't got a sink. So I can go to the bath, uh, but it's not the same, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. So I also, now this was in the garden section. So of course it was reduced because all the garden section is reduced, isn't it? But I was blown away with how much it was reduced. It says remove string before use. So it's a candle and a lovely, I think this is that hyacinth reed, isn't it? Let me see. It says rattan again. It's hyacinth reed, I think this. Um. So yeah. lovely natural um candle holder on little feet little feet and then you put your i think it is actually a candle let me see i've not undone it no it's not a candle it's a candle holder um it's absolutely beautiful that is and again it's that natural element that i really really like you know that's right up my street um so i picked up that oh so it was in the sale 
and it started off at eight pounds then it went to five pounds and i picked it up for three pounds so three pounds i really wasn't going to leave that there and like i say if it if it's too much in my bathroom and um, because i do seem to have acquired you know over the over the period of time that i've been collecting from my bathroom I, you know i've got a fair amount of stuff and um, if it's too much it'll go in here no problem at all and then i picked up this and this is for the bathroom I'm obsessed with that bathroom i just absolutely love this and i paid full price for this at eight pounds and but in my estimation it is so worth it and i will use it as this hanging plant i can't keep my arm too long this hanging plant look at that and look at the beautiful lush green on that and only that to me that it looks real in its real touch you know it feels real um i love that pop of green you know i've already i already got a plant because i've got this piece of woodwork coming that's going on the wall um and it has three sporadic shelves so i will have a trailer on that and then i want to mimic to balance out i want to mimic that trailer again um you'll see it when it all comes together i just can't wait to be able to dress it you know when it's all done so i've chosen this and like i say it's absolutely lovely lovely quality for eight pounds and for b and m's really not bad at all you know really really nice and isn't that green gorgeous it's gonna you know and it's in the right kind of basket natural again you know so i don't know whether you can guess what theme what it you know anyway so i'd another few couple of bits that i wanted to show you and one of the bits is this naked active dew face cream for normal now i don't know because i've only started using it today and having said that i have put spf 50 over the top of this uh, because it's very hot and very sunny um now this is active dew face cream um uses moisturizer to quench infuse and defend skin the intense blend of nourishing actives assist the skin recovery and provide lasting hydration but botanical and bio hy hyaluronic acid work with pomegranate bio bio oh, i can't even say this word baobab baobab is that right um and argan oil to build strength protect from stress and soothe smooth away signs of aging well i really hope it does um uh, now what it was guys it's made in gloucester um what it was was i was looking for some elemis and i, th I just can't justify the price of elemis i really can't i really do like elemis though I, I must admit and i was looking for the marine cream spf 30 because I absolutely adore it. Um, and I've just finished mine. I've still got a bit of the night cream left, but I've just finished my um, my cream. And I thought, oh, you know, I'm going to have to bite the bullet and buy some. But I, I can't. I'm just saying to myself, no, you know, you're daft. It's face cream at the end of the day. I do adore it. But I thought, well, I wonder if there's an alternative. And when I Googled, it came up with this naking. So that's the company there naked and um i thought well i'll give it a go so that's what i'm doing i'm giving it a go now it's got no scent to it as such it's very plain packaging as as you can see very plain um no it's got a cream smell but it's not you know it's got a smell of cream but it's not got any scent to it really and i read about them and they said, you know, they don't use products that clog your pores and all this sort of stuff. Um, and it's all natural um, ingredients. So I, I got a discount code for it um, and it because it, it should have been 20 quid. And I paid 15. I mean, I've used it this morning. It went on really nice. It absorbed really well. I've got that on my... Um, it absorbed super duper well 
you know, feels really nice, I must admit. And um, we'll see how it goes. So I just wanted to show you that if you're looking for an alternative to, but you know, I really should have tried it and then, you know, I should have tried it for a month or so and then shown you, shouldn't I? But um, I thought, yeah, that's one to bear in mind, isn't it? Um, and then this other thing that I was kindly um, given off my friend Maxine. Absolutely. She sent it to me. I didn't even know it was coming. She sent it to me in the post and I... I cried when I opened it because I think it's one of the nicest things anybody's ever done, really. And um, yeah, I did. I, I cried like a baby when I when I when I saw it. And it's a beautiful Pandora charm. Can you see? I'll get out of the way. It's got the infinity band, and it has got a love heart. I'm, I'm going to put now. I've shown you. I'm going to put it on my my bracelet, and it's got forever friends. And thank you, Maxine. It's absolutely beautiful. And like I say, I did have a good old blubber when she sent it because, you know, I didn't even, like I say, I didn't even know it was coming. Beautiful it is. It really is. So thank you, Max. Um, so that's it for this one, guys. Um, these swimmers ears are driving me up the wall you know because it, it it for some reason it really affects my eyes it forces my eyes to close you know it's fibromyalgia is the most bizarre thing honestly it really is so that's it for this one and thank you for joining me it's been lovely to see you and don't forget there's a, a discount code on the teddy blake bags if if you know you're in the market for a bag and you want to go or even just go and have a browse it's definitely it's definitely a handbag lover's paradise um and like i say i'm keeping my eye on that apple green one because i love it i love it um so thank you for teddy blake i'm trying to close my bracelet now uh thank you for teddy to teddy blake for that collaboration and the gift of the handbag and thank you to you guys for being patient with me while I've not been here and I've been saying, oh, I'm coming here and I'm coming then and I, and I haven't been, have I? And I apologise for that because I, I, I am ropey, really am. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, so I'll see you all in the next one, which will be, I'm not too sure because I know that the, the tile is going to be in tomorrow. And I don't like to walk about and, you know, make myself known to workmen. I just don't. I just don't like workmen being in my house. So I tend to sit, sit it out, <laughs> you know. So I don't really want to be sitting here talking to a to a to a telephone, to a mobile phone. And you might think, what the hell are you doing? Even though he's working in the bathroom, you know. Um. So yeah, I. So I'm not sure. I know that they are, and I'm not sure what I'm coming back with either. Actually, I have got a uh, quite a big car boot and uh, charity shop haul. So I could come back with that. So guys, I'm waffling on as per usual. And um, yeah, you take care. And I'll see you all in the next one. I will hope to be back. If not, If I'm not back before the end of the week, I will be back on Saturday. I'll definitely try and make sure of that. Um, and then it will be Sunday for Meals of the Week. Take care. See you then. Bye.